Uh, Shalom, all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Kakadash, double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and citation, where I can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this video is going to be called We the Watchmen. Um, we are the Watchmen. Um, it says, This is Isaiah 52 and verse 8. It says, Thy, thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. Um, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when Yahweh shall bring again Zion. <clears throat> so the watchmen are lifting, you know, uh, lifting up the voice like a trumpet and, you know, um, showing, showing the, the children of Israel their transgressions against Yahweh Bashan Yahshah out here on the highways and byways week in and week out. You know, the prophets are are singing this this song, this gospel, preaching this gospel, which is the song that's being being um which is the song that they're singing, this 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 doctrine, this gospel of Yahweh Bashan Yahshah out on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth, you know. Um and the watchmen shall see eye to eye, like the men of the Lord out here on the, uh, the um the highways and byway, we're preaching the same message in um uh, in in L.A. in in uh S S San Francisco, uh San Diego, uh, and we're speaking the same doctrine, same same song, in all all fifty states, all across the entire planet. You know, we're not we're not speaking um we're not speaking an off doctrine or we're not speaking um basically like it says, uh can two walk together unless they be agreed? We we you know, we're speaking the same message that the apostles are speaking, you know, in on one accord. In unison, we're not we're not speaking a different doctrine, a different message, a different gospel. We're preaching what what is written, and we're preaching basically the truth of the scriptures. And we're not we're all speaking the same thing, you know. Um. So I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna continue reading. It says, verse nine says, "Break forth in." To joy sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for Yahweh have confronted his people, he have redeemed Jerusalem. And he um we're singing this gospel together, uh speaking the downfall of this kingdom, which is Babylon. Um we're uh prophesying not just to our people, but to um the, the other nations. Um and uh you know, Yahweh Bashan Yahshai is going to redeem the hopeful elect out of the nation of Israel, uh, you know, because Jerusalem and the, the people of Jerusalem are people before it's a place, you know, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. You know, it says, uh, verse 10 says, Yahweh have made bare his holy arm in the eyes of, the, of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our power. So. And we've been made a spectacle amongst all nations. Um, it says um, in Wisdom of Solomon, uh, verse 5, verse 1, it says, uh, The man is standing boldly in the face of all thy enemies. Great boldness. We, we, we're standing boldly in the midst of Esau and you heathens telling your downfall of this kingdom and downfall that the next kingdom you're going to be slaves and you're going to um you know build up our walls and we're going to rule over you with a rod of iron and righteousness you know and <clears throat> that's your judgment you know your next your next thing that's going to go for you heathens is captivity and you know under our rulership you know but anyway, I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah. I'm going to start Jeremiah and then I'm going to go. Just Jeremiah um, 1 verse 5. Since I, Because we, we've been set up as prophets unto all nations, you know. 
we've been set up to prophets to uh, to our people, but we're prophesying also to you heathen nations that you're going to go into slavery. So um, this is uh, Jeremiah 1 verse 5 says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And so this is uh Yahweh talking to Jeremiah, telling him, before you you were formed in the belly, I knew you in the spirit. And then before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee. So the prophets, before they were born, came out of their mother's womb, they've been sanctified by Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. You know, and it says, I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So the prophets, uh the 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 men of the Lord that are out here prophesying, they were ordained uh, from, the, from the, the time they were in spirit, from the time they came out to be prophets. You know, that was that was their lot to fulfill, you know. Um, and that's that's the men you see out here on the highways and byways. They're falling into their lot to do uh, what the will of the Lord, you know, out here, out here preaching his word and his gospel, you know. Um Cause that's how Yahweh Bashin Yahshai brings down a kingdom. He sets up the prophets to warn the people, to warn the the to warn the people before the coming destruction comes. You know, and that's what the men of the Lord have been set up to do. Um, this is um, <clears throat> Jeremiah twenty eight verse eight says, "The prophets ha that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied uh, both against many countries." Against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So before all the war, for all the evil comes upon a kingdom, the prophets get set up to prophesy the and to warn that kingdom that your destruction is coming soon. You know, um, because it says in um, we're supposed to pray. We're supposed to um, basically um. Like it says in scripture, as the watchmen back in the old times, they used to watch for, you know, for enemies, um, for enemies coming to the gate to um, come and attack the kingdom. And that's what uh, the prophets are out here. We're, we're the watchmen out here warning the people that your destruction is coming and it's coming soon. Uh, this is Isaiah 62, verse six. It says, I have set. Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that mention of Yahweh keep not silence. So the watchmen have been set up upon O upon Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So we've been set up to warn our people to turn back to Yahweh Bashin Yahshai. If they don't want to take heed, they're gonna get destroyed. And we're also set up to warn these, to tell these nations you're going to captivity, and that's your in all be off. You're not an Israelite. If your father doesn't go back to the nation of Israel, you're going to go into captivity. You know that that you know, that's it. You know it says, um, hey, the prophets are sighing and crying. The prophets are um, not keeping silence. They're telling Yahweh Bashin Yahshai to come get us from this. Wicked kingdom, you know. Um, it says, verse seven it says, "Give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth." So the prophets out here are prophesying and crying out, the you know, signing, and crying, praying without ceasing, telling you how about she not shy to come get him out of this wicked kingdom, you know. Um, I got. I'm gonna go to back to Jeremiah. Uh, this is Jeremiah six and seventeen. It says. It's Jeremiah 6 and 17. It says, Also I I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, our nation, the, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, don't want to hearken to um, the words of the prophets who are prophesying out here on the highways and byways. Just going to get destroyed. It says, Therefore hear ye, Nations and no old congregation which is among them. Here, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. So if they <clears throat> scoff, 
It's going to reject this the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of Yahweh Bashan Yahshua and continue in their wickedness. You know, like it says in Hosea 4 and 6, um, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, and thou shalt be no priest to me. Just to uh, briefly paraphrase it, but basically, you know, this is going to be rejected and be destroyed, you know, and be a part of, you know, the judgment that's going to come upon this place, you know. Um, I'm going to go to Jeremiah 2, verse 1, it says, This is um, Jeremiah 2, verse 1. It says, Moreover, the words of Yahweh came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, and say, Thus saith Yahweh, I remember thee the kindness of thy youth, the love of thy spousal, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in the land that was uh, sought. Oh, Salaki. <laughs> I was trying to do. Uh, Salaki. That was, actually, I was looking for Joel, not Jeremiah. Salaki. Um, my bad. Uh, this is Joel 2 and verse 1. It's lucky for that. It's Joel 2 and verse 1. I, 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 anyway, uh, it says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh coming, for it is nigh at hand. So, this was the prophets, the watchmen are set up to do. We're supposed to blow the, ye the trumpet in Zion, like it says, uh, in Isaiah 58, verse 1, Cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show thy people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we're supposed to, you know, come out here, preach, and um, uh, don't care about how, the you know, preach this truth. Directly and correctly, um, uh, basically, um, basically, um, don't, uh, tell, tell our people about the transgressions they have, uh, transgressed against you. How about you all shy? Don't, don't sugarcoat nothing. Don't, don't, uh, come out here. With that smooth speech saying everything gonna be all right when you no know, if they're going off you gotta let them know they're going off and how and tell them how to turn back and and repent from their wickedness and we're supposed to um tell them that the day of the Lord is coming it's not gonna be it's gonna be darkness not light we're not supposed to you know sugarcoat that because you how about you all shots and I'm gonna come back uh with you know lollipops and kisses he's gonna come back to judge. And he's not going to be smiling, you know. Um, it says, verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people, a strong and a strong that has not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. So the day of the Lord is going to be darkness, and that's what... The prophets are also preaching out here on the street corners. Like Yahweh Shai, Shai is gonna come back. And he's gonna be. He's not gonna be happy. He's gonna have a mean face when he comes back. Like he's gonna be serious to judge this wicked kingdom and this, you know, the wickedness that's upon the earth. You know. Um. Uh. My last scripture I want to get is Jeremiah fifty one, and verse twelve. It's Jeremiah 51, verse 12. It says, Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes for you. How will have brought, devised, have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. It says, O thou that dwellest upon my waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come in the measures of thy covetousness. And this is, um, Talking about this place called America, where this place has basically lived deliciously, and this place is gonna get destroyed in one hour. You know, all, all you know, they've lived abundantly in treasures. Um, you know, they've been covetous about many things. So this place is gonna get destroyed, and the watchmen, the prophets, have been set up to prophesy against this place. So I'm going to say all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashan Yahshai, Bashan Kakadash, uh, Double Honesty, Elder Apostle, Great Millstone, and Shalom.